Hi everyone and welcome to lesson 3. As promised this lesson will be a lot more practical and hands on than lesson 2. So let's just go through maybe one or two slides and then we can get right into it. So the installation. We will use Ubuntu for this example but OS specific instructions are easy to find but I will basically be guiding you through with Ubuntu. We'll be using Ubuntu 18.04. Um, actually this month there should be 2004 coming out. Uh, it's not quite ready for release yet, but the instructions should be about the same. And the Docker website does have nice guides for all OSs. So, but don't worry, I will just walk you through Ubuntu right now. So if I open the install page here, we can see install Docker engine on Ubuntu. So most of this we can ignore. Um, the prerequisites we already have, so that's fine. As you can see, Ubuntu Bionic 18.04. Uninstall old versions, we don't need to worry about because we've got a fresh Ubuntu instance. If you need to worry, that the remove command is right there. Supported storage drivers, again, we don't need to worry. It'll just use overlay to by automatic. If you want, say, more advanced storage or more advanced drivers then by all means have a look at this but for this tutorial we're uh, we're not going to look so as you can see it's also a bit flexible on installation methods we're just going to use the docker repositories because it's the easiest way to do it so here we have install using the repository so before you install docker engine you need to set up the docker repository afterwards you can install an update from the repository as well this is important because you can always update just as you would the rest of your system. So we're going to connect now to our Linux host, which is here. Uh, this is putty, by the way. It's uh, basically SSH for Windows. So we're just going to connect. Oh, where's my window? There it is. We're going to connect in here. and we're in so if i do a tmux attach uh, no nope, tmux there we go so this is our window ready for installation so the first thing we need to do here is an apt get update and then apt get install all these um, initial prerequisites so let's go back here apt get update Okay, so we are actually running as root, but you may have to run sudo before any commands if you're not running as root to gain some root privileges, depending on your setup and your operating system. So now we can install the prerequisites right here, and these should be given to you either below the video or around the video somewhere so you don't have to copy um, basically we'll give you the link to the uh, docker install page so there we go app to get install and we're just installing some prereqs so let's leave it to do that there we go it creates a config file for us and it's processing some stuff taking a little time but that's okay There we go, so now the prereqs are installed, no errors, so we'll go back to the Ubuntu page and see what we need to do next. So the next thing is to add Docker's official key. So we know we're actually downloading Docker and not some imitation version of Docker that might have some code that we don't want to run. So we just copy this here, and we go back to our terminal, we run that as well. So again, we give it a little time and it just says OK out there to say, yep, yeah, we've got the key. All good. It's in our keychain now. So now we need to verify that we have the right key from Docker. So if we just run this here to verify it, there we go. And what should it be ending with? It should be ending with 0EBF CD88. So yeah there we go 0 EBF CD88 so that's fine we know we have the right key now so then we can go down so yeah we definitely want the stable repository 
we're not brave enough to use nightly or test at this point maybe in the future but for now we'll just keep to stable so we'll just run this so these are actually all your different um, architectures most systems you got to be on are going to be x64 uh, sorry x8664 so don't worry too much about these just run the this one so as you can see it'll add an app to repository with the AMD64 architecture uh, it'll run LSB release to try and find out which version of Ubuntu it's on and whether it's stable so you can always run this command even if you're later running 2004 that's all good so we'll just copy that there and tap it in here there we go it's now going to go through and make sure everything's up to date there we go it's done so then we can install the docker engine ah, let's do the apt get update again since that's what it's telling us to do okay there we go and then we're just gonna do the uh, install so this might take a little while on my system um, we'll see We'll see whether it's feeling nice today or not. Okay, it's 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 doing okay, apparently. That's fine. So seven seconds, six seconds. So yeah, basically we're going to just scroll down here a little bit more. Um if you want specific versions, you can get specific versions. We're just gonna go with the latest. We can verify it's installed, which we'll do in a second by running the Hello World package. We can upgrade Docker Engine quite easily, so it's basically sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get upgrade, and that'll upgrade it all everything on your system. Good to do that quite often anyway to make sure you have the stable and latest versions of packages, all packages, and not just Docker. And so here are the other flexible options you can install from a package, which we don't need to do because we've installed from the repos. And we can install using a convenient script provided by Docker as well. So yeah, just to let you know, we're not going to do anything with that. Just to let you know the options are there. Oh, and it's done. Fantastic. So let's try and run our first Docker command. So let's try and ask it for help first. See if it wants to tell us anything. And there we go. It's, it's replied with a list of stuff we can do. We can import info inspect and we'll be going through all this later on in in later videos so don't worry too much about that either let me have a look and see how to get the hello world script there was an option there we go so we do a docker run hello world just to just to say it's all working basically and hopefully it'll say hello world to us so let's go ahead and run that so as you can see it says it's unable to find it locally because we haven't run it before and it'll just pull it in from um, from the docker repository so that's fine there we go it's pulled it in and hello from docker we can see there so from about here it actually started the instance and then outputted it for us onto the screen so this message that shows your installation appears to be working correctly. To generate this message, Docker took the following steps. And let, let's go through the steps and just see what it did. It contacted the Docker daemon. It pulled the hello world package, which we saw it doing above. It created a new container from that image, which runs the executable that it downloaded. And then it streams that output to us, which it goes to our terminal. So that's it. It's all good and we can try and do something more ambitious later on but we're good for now and that's the conclusion of lesson three thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for lesson four uh, we'll have an optional 3.5 of installing docker on windows if you need it or want to see that so thank you and see you next time bye